Hello again Year 11, I'm back with another video. Right, here we go. This is uh, me demonstrating the motor effect and what the motor effect is all about. So this is video number one. Right, the bottom line is the motor effect is the effect on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field. Okay, so if you have a current carrying wire in a magnetic field, something very interesting happens, which I'm going to show you now. So here is the current carrying wire. Hopefully you can see when I switch this on, the current or conventional current, remember, goes from positive round to negative. So conventional current is going to go in this direction. The electrons actually go in the opposite direction but remember with with electricity and magnetism all the rules and laws require us to be thinking about conventional current so conventional current is this way so it's down the wire in this direction right I'm going to show you something interesting when I let's turn this off now I'm going to get the wire let's take this section of the wire here now we're going to put it into this magnetic field. Right, this is a horseshoe magnet. Okay, it's a bit different to the ones we've looked at so far, but the shape is means that this is a north pole and this is a south pole. So the magnetic field is in that direction. The magnetic field lines always go from north to south. So the field lines are going in this direction. Right, I'm going to put a wire in the field like this. Okay, the wire is going to be perpendicular to the field, like this. Now, when I turn on the power pack, when the current eventually arrives, look what happens to the wire. It gets pushed up. Now, that wire is feeling a considerable force, quite a significant force, vertically upwards towards the camera. Okay, if I try and push it down into the field, it doesn't want to go. Okay, so the field's in this direction, the conventional current is in that direction. Remember, this is the red, so the conventional current is in that direction. Now it's been forced upwards. Let's turn it off. Okay. So that's the relaxed position. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of things now. I'm gonna reverse the direction of the magnetic field. So now the magnetic field is going in that direction. Still the current is going in that direction. The conventional current is in this direction. If I turn on the voltage, the current eventually arrives when this goes up and it gets pulled down. So that wire is now feeling a significant force downwards. And if I try and pull it up through the magnetic field, it doesn't want to go. Okay, hopefully you can see that. There. Now if I turn off the electric voltage, if I turn off the current and the wire, it relaxes back to its original position. So reversing the direction of the magnetic field changes the direction of the force. Let's do this thing. Let's, let's, let's swap. Let's change the direction of the current. Changing the direction of the current. Now, the conventional current is, is in that direction. The magnetic field is back to the original position. And then when it comes, it gets pulled down. So, swapping this around or swapping this around changes the direction of the force. Now, there is a, a law, there's a rule for predicting the size of the direction, sorry, the, the direction of that force. And all you need for that rule is one of these, a left hand, preferably your own. Right, there you go. It's called Fleming's left hand rule. Okay, you might have seen this in the textbook, but basically you have your thumb, first finger, second finger. Now, comes with practice, but if you get them all at right angles to each other, that's important. First finger field, that's the direction of the magnetic field. Second finger, conventional current, 
that's the direction of the conventional current. And thumb, thrust, that's the direction of the force on the wire. Okay, so it's Fleming's left hand rule. Okay, right, let's, let's check Fleming's left hand rule works. I'm going to put that, the field in that direction because that's a bit easier for me. Right, which direction is the current going to go? Okay, so don't forget, let's swap those back to their original positions. So the conventional current goes from red to black. How about that? Like that. Which direction is the current going now? Okay, hopefully you can see. Red into here, conventional current is in that direction. Magnetic field is in that direction. So that should be fairly straightforward, shouldn't it? So in theory, let me just get that right. There you go. So we've got first finger field, second finger conventional current. According to my left hand, the thumb is pointing up towards the camera, vertically upwards towards the camera. Let's check it. And it is indeed being pulled upwards. Turn it off. Okay. But what if I... Let's change the direction of the current. So I'm going to hold the wire in the same place. Just swap the terminals on the power supply. Now, field is in the same direction. Conventional current is in the opposite. It's now to the left. The thumb is pointing straight downwards. So now, that wire, according to Fleming's left-hand rule, should be forced downwards. There you go. Okay? So that is the motor effect. And that is Fleming's left-hand rule, which is used to predict the direction of the force that is caused by a current-carrying wire in a magnetic field. Thank you.